Hey guys, it's me Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey guys, we got a great interview today with Mr. Wood. How are you doing today, Mr. Wood? Well, I'll tell you, buddy, I just love life. Everybody calls me Mr. Wood. Uh, can I ask you a question? Why they call you Mr. Wood? Because I work in a department store and I move wood all day long. I'm the wood guy. Uh, so what does that mean? Does that mean that you help people get lumber and things like that? Yeah, I help people get lumber and boy, I'll tell you what, I've got wood for wood. Oh, what, was, what does that mean? Well, you know, I get excited when I have to move that wood and I catch a little wood every chance I can. Uh, so does that mean that you work in a department where you're watching women and uh, guys, or what are you doing? I've got wood for everybody. I will tell you what. Ooh, look at that. She just bent over. Oh, man, oh, I got some wood. Hey, sir, that's not very appropriate. You shouldn't talk, say things like that. Well, look at that boy. He's looking real good, too. I got wood for you, too. Well, let me say something, sir. You sound like a pervert. Are you? kind of one of them weird people out there that just uh, has wood for everybody? Oh, I do. I'm one of them fickle people. I just think that wood is the way to go. You know, I've been cutting down trees and I've been digging up trees and I've been, you know, making wood move. I set these planks up and, uh, you know, I got all this building supply and they call me Mr. Wood. <laughs> well, that sounds a little strange, sir. You know, so when you're out there selling your wood, Good. You know, what do you do? Well, I have conversations with people and, you know, I cut them a piece of wood. I'm telling you what, I cut them up real good. I make them the size that they want. And them ladies, they really like that big wood. Uh, sir, that's a little perverted. You mean you're actually, you know, talking to the ladies in this regard like that? Oh, yeah. They love to talk to Mr. Big Wood, you know, because I got big wood. Oh, shoot. You sound a little disgusting, you know, but, you know, here on the air, you got to be real careful what you say. So when people come down there to your store and everything, or do they ask for Mr. Big Wood, you know, every time they come? Oh, yeah, they always ask for Mr. Big Wood because I got some big wood. Would you like a piece? Uh, No, sir. I'm fine. I mean, I, I like the ladies, not to be disrespectful. Well, I like the ladies, too, and I like, well. Uh, you know, I'm one of them kind of woodsy kind of guys. You sure do got a pretty mouth. Huh, sir, how, how do you know I got a pretty mouth? Well, I can just tell. <laughs> okay, well, you're getting me a little bit scared, Mr. Wood. I'm going to have to be real careful. You know, what happens when people come into your store? Well, you know, I follow them around and I kind of, you know, watch them when they bend over. And oh, boy, I'll tell you what, I just surprised the hell out of them. They look at me and go, oh, shit, it's your you, Mr. Wood. And I go, oh, yes, just me, Mr. Wood. I just wanted to give you some. And they always look at me the same way. Scarred. <laughs> but I laugh it off because, you know, I'm you know, I'm Mr. Wood. Well, you sound kind of like you're pathetic and a little bit of a pervert, sir. You think people like to be treated like that? Oh, yeah. People love to come and talk to me. You know, I've been doing this for about 30 years, and I've always had a lot of wood for folks. And, you know, us uh, uh, woodsy kind of guys, we like, uh, you know, we like to hear that that song. Da -da -ding 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 -ding. Uh, you're kind of scared me, sir. That's, uh, that's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I've got some wood just for you. You come on down to my store and I'll show you a big old piece. Uh, sir, <laughs> do you really do this at your store? All the time. You know, the management, they used to mess with me until I gave them a big piece of wood. Uh, you mean you gave them a big piece of wood? What happened? Well, they bent over and said, thank you very much. Because <laughs> they don't call me Mr. Wood for nothing because, you know, I'm a little bit out there. I'm a woodsy kind of guy and I love to take care care of my customers. I always do it right. I take real good care of them. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Wood, you seem like a strange person, and I hope you're going to be okay, because you got to be careful out there, because somebody might sue your ass. Oh, come on now. Don't talk to me like that. You know everybody likes to have a piece of wood.
good. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to tell you, you got to be real careful. We live in a society today where everybody don't want a piece of wood. Well, if after they meet me, they're going to ask for more wood because <laughs> I've got it going on. I'm the woody kind of guy. I'm woodsy. That's what I am. Well, hey, guys, we just had a really weird conversation with Mr. Wood. He's really hard. Oh, yeah, I'm really hard. I've always got it going on, and I love to make things real hard. You want to bend no for me, and I'll show you. Oh, hell no. I don't want that. So, okay, guys, be careful when you go down to this guy, Mr. Wood Store, because he might try to give you some wood. Oh, I got a piece right for you. All right, Mr. Wood. They don't call me Mr. Wood for nothing. You want to find out? Uh, 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 okay. We got to go now, guys. Remember what I said? Be careful when you're around that Mr. Wood. All right. He's crazy. <laughs>